2021 is the year. You have so many accents. <laughs> no, that's just all bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was just not going to say they were bad. Oh, no, I left that light on. Is that a problem? No, I saw it. I went, okay. meh. It doesn't do no light. It's Oops. fine. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm Melissa. And this is Stitching in the Cabin. It is. Welcome back. Hi. Those that came back and welcome. We have a plethora of new people. I hope you stick around. Please no, stick we around. Understand. No, we don't. Mm. Stick around. Give us at least Here, one more chance, sure. because this is a long chunk, so we're like all new at this all over again. Because so. we took a little break. A long break. From the parade time to now. What are you doing? I'm pulling all the hairs out of my sweatshirt that are still here because I cut the men folks hair today. And the hairs stuck into, this isn't even my shirt, sweatshirt, this is Jacob, so he's going to kill me. But it's all stuck he in. Notice. He won't notice. He'll notice when okay, he puts it on. Okay, you got to say the dangy. Oh, I can't. I still forget that we do this. Yes, we do this. At the beginning of every episode, we show a viewer whip, so that way people like you can show your work on this grand platform that we call Stitching at the Cabin YouTube channel. So if you don't like the stuff we do, maybe you'll like the stuff that other people do, <laughs> and you'll come back. <laughs> dip into other pools. So um, if you want to be a part of whip share, all you have to do is look down in the description below and send us an email. Stitching at the Cabin at gmail.com and then we will see all the stuff and then we will show it it goes on a wheel randomly chosen every week send us your work in progress send us what it should look like or a link so we can go find a picture of what it should look like and anything you want us to say don't include anything you don't want us to say because i have no filter and i will say things true <laughs> so who is this week's whip isabel Isabel. Isabel. Miss Isabel. Christmas Eve. It's a memorabilia. Oh. And she's the one who has, in my opinion, amazing fabric choices. Mm -hmm. This particular mm -hmm. one is a 32 count by Fabric Flare. It is called Falling Snow. I like that. And that way it looks like it's, she's not it. She is like dancing in the snow, I believe is what she had said. I didn't write that part down. But nice. I would agree that her fabric is better than the model fabric. Good. Good job, yeah. Isabel. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank and we've had that long enough. You've probably made a massive amount of progress. And so I apologize that this is not more <laughs> up to date. But the wheel, the wheel is the controller of all. What we stitch, what we show, what we eat. Okay, not for me. <laughs> it's not eat for me. Yet. I just want to say that I put a necklace on so I look all shiny and pretty. Like I am not wearing pajama bottoms. <clears throat> But look, my pajama Definitely bottoms match not my shirt. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. the pajama bottoms, Granny. I like you them. I'm only wearing jeans because Jacob picked them out this morning. Mm. Whatever. Okay, so long. we have whips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's at least one finish. There's one, and that's just very shameful, <laughs> and I apologize, but it is what it is. Haul and a new gifts start and kindness. I have a new start. Oh, I have two new starts. Possibly. I know she for sure. She always has to outdo me. I, like, I finally have a new start, and she's like, but I got two. Well, I might only have one, because I cannot remember what we showed in the last thing, like the whip parade. Mm. I, I don't know if I had started Pandemic then or not. So if I had started mm. Pandemic, then I only have one new start. If I had not, then I have two, and I just ruined one of them for you. I don't think you did. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't think That's so. the thing. This is why you have to give us a second chance because it's been so long, <laughs> I can't remember anything that happened in like the last three weeks. <gasps> Who are all. we? Who are you? Thank is goodness. this even recording? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> sound? Maybe. At least I keep the stitching tracker thing, the one Teresa yeah. Little Stitcher Thank uses. Thankfully. So I know what I worked on, but I don't know. Anything else. Yeah. So haul, stitchy kindness, Christmas gifts. I didn't bring my Christmas stuff. gifts. I also slacked there. So next week or whatever, I will show you um, Chris, my Christmas haul. We're going to spin. We're going to do the shower splotch, which I agonized over this time. I changed I splotches said about I'll do 12 it, times. And then, you probably should have. And then I didn't, so. Because I did one well, I don't know how next anyone's going to see anything it. other than what I see. But I've said that before. I've said that before. Yeah. I, I want to say that... 
this shallow splotch thing has changed my life because every time I take a shallow now, I see what I initially saw and then I see something that somebody else said you and it opens I love your it. Mind. It does. Like you're like, oh, there's more opportunities and choices in this world. And no, it's not that no, deep. Not I'm that, just like, look, it's, it's a deal deep. with cotton candy instead of whatever the cobra. you thought it was I before. It was the cobra. Yeah. And then that ballerina instead of the camel with the whoosh. It's just, it just blows my mind because when I get in, I see what I normally see, and then I see the other thing, and I'm like, whoa. You know what's great is once you go through what you think is all the splotches in the shower, we could just take them sideways or upside yeah. down, and I bet do it again. No one would know. <laughs> well, that will be 12 years from now because there's a lot of splotches in that shower. Uh, um, that okay. It? I don't think I have other... Because I can't I remember know. anything that happened yeah. in the last... I mean, we had Christmas. We had New Year's. I don't we remember had anything. Them, and that's, that, yeah. We worked. We didn't work. We had uh -huh. snow. We didn't have snow. But I, no, I got a new video game for Christmas, so I did a lot of that instead of stitching, which I am shame. But, you know. Are you ready? You want to see some whips? Yeah, I think they want to see some whips. Okay. Some of this are going to see massive changes, and some of this are going to be like, you didn't work on that. You didn't work on that. No, they don't remember. It's been too long. Yeah, true. You don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, but you put in the before and after. I know. So here is Keto. Keto is my heaven and earth. She is on 25 count, 2 over 1. Doso over uno. So all of you that think that's insane, it's fine. It's fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. So, yeah, I mean, I just work down and over and down and over and down. And over, so it's not like I have to tell you what I've been working on. Background fat. <laughs> yes, yes, I have probably a year of background before we <laughs> smack into the dragon. Hopefully she puts in a picture of what keto is supposed to look like for those of you who are new here. Although, if you're new, you probably watched the whip parade, so you probably saw if it was on that. And if it wasn't, well, oops. <laughs> Annie Steg. That's the designer, the artist. The artist. So I didn't do as much on this as I normally would because I didn't work as much as I normally do because yeah we had a lot of time off we had extra time off for Christmas and for New Year's which sounds like oh you should do more stitching which I did but yeah I only work on keto before work in the morning so if I'm not working even if I'm home I generally don't work on keto I spin and mm -hmm. treat it like a weekend so mm -hmm. so other stuff got some more love yeah. keto will get plenty of love same thing with the shadowing because that's on my desk and if I'm mm -hmm. not working and taking a lunch break Right. It's not getting low. We're going to do better about taking lunch breaks Yeah, this we have year. a plan. We, we have, have a plan, plan, which you know we follow through with every <laughs> plan. So, Kim, we do. Don't judge. Uh, you didn't bring out that project. <laughs> which one? The double O project. <gasps> we worked on we that. We worked on that. We worked on it. We okay. worked on bookshelf. When you're showing something of yours, probably the there. tree, I will get in there. Now no, because gonna... we both have trees. Okay, well, something. No, I we have... should do trees separate because... Yeah, okay. I have pajama pants on. You're going to see that. I apologize. But they're cute. But look, I'm wearing worky kind of stuff otherwise. <laughs> otherwise, so proud. Do you... When do you... Just Which go again. Okay. Go again, and then okay. I'll go one. I'll show you my shower line because that's the order I normally do it in. Yep. I did get a little progress today, which was... Shocking. Woo! After you found your floss. Yeah, my peacock was missing. It had fallen off the desk down behind. I was panicking. This is, just ignore, just ignore that thing. So I'm still working over here. I've decided to do like this whole chunk as one thing, even though in the pattern it's separated into like this section, that section, and then the flowers are a different section. I haven't really seen the flowers up close yeah. until now. I mean, I'm looking at the back, but so they look good. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's a sixth one. It's a reddish color one, and then it repeats back the other way, mirrored, and that's where I'm stuck. That's where I'm going to need Alyssa's help. I yeah, can't. I hear you. There's, the pattern doesn't show you the mirror, so oh, to try yeah, to come so up with beautiful. that. Oh, yeah, they're so beautiful. But, like, Aww. this, this little triangle up there is so much work, so much work, and it's the same thing. It goes all the way around. I don't know how I'm ever going to... It's so much work to Wait, do, to one, do, of, to do one, one of those. Oh, in these. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Because this one's done except there's two beads. There's a bead there and a bead out there. Otherwise, that's Really? Done. It doesn't look yeah. like it's a lot. No, that's like, a lot no of... <laughs> that's a lot of colors and a lot of quarter stitches. And then... Okay, I'll take a close-up of it. There's uh, 
Here's diamond eyelets, that, that greenish color all around the outside, that's a bunch of Close. diamond eyelets. Which, those don't take that long, but but mainly that greenish part in the middle is extremely time consuming. Weird. That's a lot of little partial, fractional. It oh looks so pretty. It's so delicate and beautiful. And then for a good one. those are the new, these boxes are all the way around, a different variation, but one of them I have not done yet because I wanted to mix it up so that I didn't get bored. But everything else is done except this whole outside and beading. one box and the beading. So I think I'm going to start the beading in this section and then I'll just move. I think some of the beads are going to get crushed, but I'm not going to use, I'm not going to do the big yeah. Swarovski crystals. Mm -hmm. And that way, I'm doing like Because you're going to have to, the yeah, Q-snap's going to gonna go over yeah, them at some point. Exactly, because I can't bead without, well, I could bead without a Q-snap, but I don't want to. Nay, nay. Okay, let me show you my shame first. The tree? Yeah. Okay, let me grab the thing. Yeah, the, the tree's not as interesting. You, ha you haven't seen the universe yet. Oh, if you can see, I have a new friend up here. I don't know oh, if you yeah, see. they can see. My husband saw that. This is a thinking chair from Blue's Clues. So he saw Blue and bought it for me. So Blue sits on my thinky chair. And my mom crocheted that for you new people. And if you haven't seen the closet redo episode, you should watch that. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's back in there somewhere. Okay, so this is my temperature tree. This is a Stitch and Mommy pattern. Um... You stitch it throughout the year. Every leaf represents a different day. Every color represents a different temperature range for your geographic area. Um, I also mixed it up a little bit by um, making sparkly leaves on the days that it rains. So that way I know how many days it rains each year. Um, What's that happening here? <laughs> that's just extra. We don't look at it. It's just extra. It's just stuff. <laughs> Um, it came in handy though because it turned out I hadn't finished the last seven stitches in here, oh. so it was helpful that I had this just up here and ready. Are you so. sure that one's connected to that yeah, one? Yeah. Okay. I, From this angle, it's it, not. It's it is by a, a, a diagonal. A noob. It, oh, wait, not I a noob, assume, a nub. I noob mean, I assume problems. that's the way. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't judging. I oh was yeah, just see, saying, it's over here too. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, okay. Yeah. 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 But I, I told her I didn't notice till I was down here that this is like symmetrical. Like, yeah. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. So, um, I still have like four or five more leaves to do and I'm sorry I didn't finish that. I need to do that. I need to add two more days of rain, which will bring our total up to, I think, 15 days of rain this wow, year. Wow, look at you. Mine's the cabin, so mine, even though it's still Southern California, mine is Considerably different. different. <laughs> Mine had um, snow, and I'm not milking the days of snow. I also still have to put 2020 on here somewhere, and I have to outline the leaf in which we got engaged and the leaf in which we got married, because we did both in the same year, and I want to put it on here. So we're still a little bit away from a finish, despite me wanting to have it finished for you today. Did you decide how you're going to do the 2020? Um, I think I'm going to do it down here. Right here. And okay. I'm going to find a fonty font that I like and just... What color are you going to do it I think in? I'm going to do it in the same color as the tree. Okay. I, I don't know if you saw, um, I think I showed it to you, uh, Hallie. Sti oh my gosh, Hallie, I'm so sorry. Stitching big things with Every Hallie. time. <laughs> Every time. Every, Every I know time. who you are, but Saying I'll link you name, down below yeah. so people know who you she are. She did her 2020 underneath, uh -huh. but kind of big, and using uh -huh. all the colors in order, like the temperature Oh, colors. yeah, okay, I that's really smart like too. That. Yeah. Mine is done, except, ta-da! I left it the Q-snap because I need to put 2020 in here somehow. And while I love what Hallie did, and that was initially what I was gonna do too after I saw hers, I started thinking about it, and I had seen somebody, I think on Facebook, that did it, and they made it look like they curved in the tree, like the initials. Mm -hmm. And I'm really thinking I'm gonna take a stab at that because that just really spoke to me. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But I'm not sure I have the skill to do that. So I'm gonna try it. That's why I left it in here. And if that works, yeah. awesome. If it doesn't, then I'll do the 2020 underneath or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's, we had weird weather down at the very end, but, but this is, this is the year. 2020. And I will I will take yeah. it out next time so that you can see, because there's some things cut off over here, so yeah. that you can see it in its entirety. But California weather. This, this is, is California like. mountain weather. Yeah. And mine's a little more customized because I used math to mm -hmm. 
She didn't use that standard mine. temperature. Yeah, range. I didn't use because she gives you a few options, but none of them were quite right for the cabin. So I did what I thought was the lowest and the highest, and then I did the math to figure out how many in each chunk. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. worked out really well. But yeah, but I could have gone a little bit lower and a little bit hotter. That would have been okay. But it was a weird year with a lot of fire, a lot of fire, which yeah. had nothing to do with that. But. I just Check want to previous that episodes there. with fire oof, oof. <laughs> and plagues. Oof. Yeah, if you haven't seen the one with the fire right outside the house here, that's one you should watch. Plague seven. I mean, I if believe. you don't care about stitching. Yeah, if yeah. <laughs> if you're just here for the stitching, then I take. Then don't. Don't watch that. Don't watch that one. <laughs> the plague seven, I think, was the one that had the fire mm. right, literally right there. That was scary. Okay. You did stuff. I did stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start picking things up because at this point now, I don't... Sure. There's no reason to be all organized about nah. it. Nah. This That's ridiculous. is Blackbird Designs, My Pink Rose, Reward of Millet, Pink Keep. It's on 32 Count Petite Point, Raw White Belfast Linen. Those are the call for colors. It's always bigger than I it's expected it to be. I know. It's so it big comes big. in this little tiny yeah. little container. So you're like, oh, it must be so little. Teeny tiny. And, and that's that not, it's not teeny tiny. But, I mean, this is pretty much the bottom. Like, it, the, the little chain thing goes a little bit under it. And then just, like, over to there. So it's not that much bigger. And there's, like, a butterfly and another flower and stuff. But I like it. This is the one I have downstairs. So if I have a few minutes and, like, Nobody's doing anything, and it's not dark. Hang on, I will. Hang oh, sorry. I will work on, on that. On. But usually it's dark, and people are doing stuff. And nice. Tango, a cockatoo. This was leaning up against the the sofa, and he walked over. And he decided mm. to use this to climb up, and I went. <gasps> but it tipped, and he fell, and he flew oh, across the room, and he was wow. all traumatized. And then he didn't want to come back to get his nightly loves from me. Wow. He finally did, but he was like. Mm. I shouldn't have touched that. She's told me not to touch it, but I touched it. Yeah, that's terrifying. Okay. That's probably a new start, too. <laughs> we'll go with this one. I know, I keep wanting to grab oh, my no, new start. The tree fell over. My tree. Remember? I don't know when I worked on this. If I looked at my thingy, I could tell you, but I don't know. It was one day at the cabin, I think. Mm -hmm. Language of the flowers, Rosewood Manor. I just stabbed myself with a needle, but that's okay. This Ooh, is on, girl, looks so pretty. This is on sand. I think this is on picture this plus sand. And I don't know if it's 28 or 32. I have the thing ah, someplace. Oh, I know what, what it say. is. I know what it is. You hold that up. I hold. And I will look. Let's see. It's on my little oh, yeah. bobbin thing. So beautiful. It is 28 count sand. Isn't that pretty? I'm pretty sure I was working down here. I think I finished this bottom thing and I was working on that. I think I only worked on it like a day or two. It wasn't a lot of time. Wow. So. The colors are just so appealing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's take a I am a picture. fan. <laughs> I am a fan of Rosewood Manor. Yeah, beautiful lettering. Mm. And I think it works with the fabric. I personally don't like to stitch on white fabric. She doesn't like Ada either. Ada, I do, not, Ada. I do not dislike Ada. <laughs> I'm okay with Ada. Oh, man. That's not my number one choice, usually. Sometimes. <laughs> usually. Usually. Sometimes. Oh, please hold. What'd my you do this time? husband is calling me. Not now we know. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to show you my universe in a jar. Randall Spangler. Heaven and Earth designs, 25 count, uh, easy count. grid. <laughs> Stop magic guide. No, easy, I think it's whatever easy count. it is. Yeah, probably, maybe. I don't know. Two over one. Two over one. Um, I actually did a lot since the last time oh, you saw it. That thing's poked. No, uh-uh. I just. What happened? I just, I didn't, I used all the flosses of all the colors. I'm really impressed that you can 
cross country. Well, these this 20, is gritted five, so nicely. It's so easy. It's twenty five two of a one. I, I can only know. do it because I plug. I, I can't. I don't I have. I don't have any problems. The biggest problem is with these because there's so many colors in the windowsill. But even that, it's totally fine. I think all of this, I'm already ready to fill it in with blue. I think wow. all of this is going to be that background blue color. So once I do that, that's going to be easily a few hundred stitches. Easy, don't even need a pattern for it. I so. think I ask you this every time. Uh -huh. You have a snag nab it. Yeah, I do. How far it used the... to be two, so I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yeah. How far over is the end? Uh, close, because this is the end of the... Look, oh. that's where the tape is. It's oh. it's literally like... Here. <laughs> Just randomly pick a spot and say that's it. It's. I mean, it's definitely counted, right? So it's not, you know... And there's like a considerable amount that's taped. So. I'm so excited to see know. you get down and do something. No offense. I mean, yeah. it's beautiful and, and all, but yeah, you've been but doing the, like to see dragon me things and inside <laughs> the globey <laughs> things. Dragon meat. <laughs> I, mean, I will be stitching dragon meat, but alive. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's wait. it's really like the wall. It has to be like right here. I mean, it's so close. Is it more a wall or is it just? Well, it's no, I think it's just like. It's like, oh, you can't see. You can see from the back side. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was loud. Just now. Yeah, see, so look, it just stays just, window. Yep. But see, like, look, it's just, it, that's the end of the, where I started. That's like this The end of the beginning. Edge. <laughs> that's what it looks like. So it should Please be. Please come back. It should be anything like right here. It should be like right here. And then I'll be done with the whole top row. So I did a lot, but I, I, Honestly, I could have done a lot more had I done it instead of playing video games, but I sold it a lot, so the progress, this is it. That is I all. like it. Grant, lean it up oh, here yeah. so you stare at it now. Yeah, but then I'm going to be distracted by it because yep. it looks so good. The further back you get, the better mm -hmm. it looks. Not, not like no, it. I know. I know. I can't you know wait for saying. it to hang on a wall. Oh, that's like... I'm excited. 12 years. If it's anything like my keto, Shh. I mean... I think I did the math. I think I'm down to eight more years on keto. That's so exciting. I think it's only going to be like 11 years instead of 20. Like 20, 30, I gang. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. This is the one you're probably going to see the most progress. And the wheel spun this twice, actually. So I came really close to a finish. <laughs> probably yes. the next time I will yes. finish it. Villa Mulabilia. This is out of print, so if you find it, it's not going to be like $10 or however much. Yeah, uh, 10 This used to be 10 You can see they did a little quarter. It was 10 And that was like decades ago, so. And I don't know what fabric this is because, again, it was decades ago. It was like before I had kids, and then I had kids and I stopped. I did work on it a little bit when you were a kid, but I think I was yeah. just like, no. So I did the, all the beatings oh. done. <laughs> I have to do the rest of the border, it. and I have to finish the bottom. There's like roses and the thing that comes across, and that might be it. But the, like the top is all done. So I'm going to show it in like chunks, because you can't really see it. Because you're kind of close. <laughs> okay, so fluff her dress. Fluffing. That's, see, the top border is done. All the plant, all the vase, all of the beads and stuff. And then down at the bottom... The, the side closest to me, this side, this is done, but then I have to do repeat it on that side and I need the border to go, but. Gotcha. Otherwise she's okay, done. Put it down so I can take a picture. That's beautiful. I only still I don't know going to take a picture because. Okay, hold it's it. It's massive. And it, it just it. no picture uh, gets the beads, the sparkly beads. Can you switch your hands? Ah, ah. <laughs> Stitching no-nos. <laughs> I will show you why you should not use masking tape, although I still use masking tape. Can you pull it tighter? Oh, yes. There we go. That's a little bit better. Wow. And I'm maybe going to do a video. I haven't done a video in a long time, but let's show people. Pull it tight. Let's show people a video of what all your hard work looks like. Because it do be pretty. She is a biggin. <laughs> That's what you keep calling her. She <laughs> is a biggin. And Stitch and Mommy is also working on it, but... In this case, Nina, Nina, and I win. <laughs> Said in a loving way. Sure. But I also got like a 20 year start on her, so, you know, there is that. And she stitches so many huge, massive, full coverage wow. things. 
this is beautiful. what masking tape does over the time. This is 20 something years. It does stain oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not really sticky, but stains it. Yeah. Which I'm not worried about because that's going to be framed. Yeah. So as long as you have enough edge to frame, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. But yeah. Do you like the, I like the beads? Yeah, right I do. I touch them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's geez. absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for you to finish I that I know, order. and I'm so close, but it was just, because it was a holiday, I worked on it mm -hmm. on it for like four days straight, and I yeah. was trying to do it like eight hours a day, yeah. but like, it kicked my butt. And then when, my husband was watching Cobra Kai, and so I went down to hang out with him, and then that just totally messed me up. Totally. And then I just stopped stitching. I put it away. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Oh, I know. I forgot that. Lo siento. So now I'm on the new start, so if you want to begin the new start no, train, you can. No, we have to do this. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, not a new start yet. Nope, not a new start yet. Um, we worked on Fairy Tale Bookshelf, the project that we all promise you we're going to work on and then hardly ever do. As always, because this project is so large, um, she is holding my side and I am holding her side because of the way we sit to stitch. And we're... So we're stitching it together. That wasn't obvious by the whole... She's holding my <laughs> side and I'm holding her side. So and they do connect because we made one connect to make sure... We made one sure connection to make sure it's all gonna line counted up. correctly or at least close enough to fudge it. So one day I had bought something for my husband for Christmas that he had to pick up because it was several hundred pounds and there was no way I was going to try to move it. And so her husband came to help my husband. So she had to come hang out with me. So we stitched for a few hours. Yeah, well, I'll... Good part of the day. I think it's only like three hours. I mean, I don't want to like tell hours. because then the other you're going to be like, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah. We did stuff. But, but it was a few hours. It was fun. We made I always forget how much fun it is. Yeah, it really is. And this is, this is 20 count fabric, so mm -hmm. it's a lot easier. It's <laughs> easier to stitch on if the grid lines were in the right place. And they're, it's not that they're wrong. They're, it's just they're not. They're wrong. They're not wrong. They're, they're just not clear. Difficult. You can see them. It's not like they're faded, but they're, they're, it's not clear. It's in a weird spot, and so it's really hard to count. Mm, I agree. It doesn't really keep count. <laughs> That's why I'm not poking as much as I normally do, because I don't trust the counting on that. Mm -mm, oh, I don't scarier. trust my counting anyway, but I yeah. especially don't trust it when I can't tell where the good lines begin harder. and end. A little bit harder. I know you think we're crazy, but it's true. You just have to work on it. Come over. We'll let you work on it a little bit, and you'll be like, oh, Ooh, I see. Yeah. This is difficult. Gotcha. But okay, well fun. then, I have two new starts, maybe. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if you've seen Pandemic or not. I mean, obviously, you've all seen Pandemic. Who hasn't seen Pandemic? But have you seen my Pandemic? <laughs> Ignore all the weird writing on it. I was having to math, because I... I'm doing it on, we had the whole fabric discussion. I'm using the yeah. Fiberlicious, um, it's called Purple Waves. It's a whole variety of purples, purples that used to be much more organized. And then yeah, the I fabric like is a 36 count Serafina is the name of it. That's the one we all decided on as a group. I don't know for sure if this is, if I'm happy or not, but <laughs> this is what we have done. <laughs> I forgot to add the pictures. So it's 20, I think it's 24 oh. rows of each color. We'll make it oh, about it yet. to that. Oh, ha ha! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so it'll be a you know gradient down 24 rows of each to the bottom. I like working on it. Uh, this is my first time with 36 count, I think, and mm -hmm. it's a little smaller than I was used to, but I figured it out after a little while. Like. You know, rocket yeah. science. Yep. Um, I just, I don't know for sure that I love the colors altogether. I just don't know. I think it's too soon to tell. I'm on I the fence it's because it's too soon Yeah, and to you're tell. using light colors, which yeah. always makes it a little harder. And I need to, you know, go across. And I did discover, <laughs> it's probably just me because the rest of you are smarter than I am. When I loaded it into Pattern Keeper, it was the same time when they were offering it for free. I loaded it into Pattern Keeper, and I must have done something wrong with <laughs> the whole what part shaded. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I actually have extra rows and extra columns. <laughs> I'm like, rows and columns. I did the exact backwards. Whatever. Yeah. Rows and columns. So I had to go through and highlight those like they were already done. And fortunately, I noticed it before I could make any mistakes. But 
If you put yours in pattern keep, but just be certain that your shaded areas are correct and that you don't have extras. See, I remember you talking about this like to the camera, so maybe you did show them. Yeah, that's I. I, I feel deja vu y about that, but I don't remember ever seeing it. So no, and I could look at my thing to see when I started it, but I. I switched from 2020 to 2021, so now yeah. I would have to pull up the 2021. We're and just that's gonna just... pretend like you never saw that before. Yeah. I have a new start. I have one more new start. Yeah, I know, okay? okay. It's my time to shine. Okay. You shine. You shine like a diamond. So we did the trees, the Stitch and Mommy trees, and I really liked those. And then she came out um, at the end of last year ish with her next one, which is the same concept, except that it's the it's the typography of January, February, March, April, you know, et cetera, et cetera, to December. And I liked that. So I thought I'll do another, I'm still gonna call it a temperature sheet probably. It's a temperature thingy, um, because I had fun. But I didn't want to get new fabric and like, you know, I don't find the kitting it up really that much fun. But thankfully, Mummy had a <laughs> itty bitty little teeny weeny piece of fabric that she wasn't going to use because it's too dark and it's 40 count. Um, and I said, well, would it fit on it? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, not if you're going to stitch it like a normal human. I'm like, what if, what if we didn't do it over two, though? What if we did it over one? She's like, I don't know. It's dark and it's 40 count. Why would you do that? <laughs> and she, you know, we did the math and she's like, yeah, it would, it would, it would fit <laughs> if you wanted to do it. I said, let's do it. So I'm using, I'm not using the colors that she recommends for this chart specifically. I'm using the same colors as the temperature tree because they're already on the little hangers. I like the color selection. I've already temperature ranged it out. It worked well. Why get more floss when I have plenty of floss left over from the tree? So I'm just going to use that. I started out doing two over one. Which I advised against. I know, it was easier to start. <laughs> but it was not easier because the stitches were so floofy that I couldn't find the hole for the next square because it was so small. So halfway through January, J, I changed to over one, or, or one over one. Um, so the top part of J looks a little funky, but I don't think you're going to notice in the grand scheme of things. I tried so, to convince her to take it out and start over. She went into no. it, so. So, ready? This is so far 2021 so temperature tiny. tree. So tiny. <gasps> Wee! <laughs> uh, do you not see it? it yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. See it. it's, it's right. It's right there. <laughs> it's like smaller than the tip of my finger, but that's the J for January. I am convinced this is going to be the cutest thing I have ever stitched ever and that will ever be stitched. I have to admit, ever. I like it. But when she first held it up yeah. from across the room, because her desk started across, because we worked together, yeah. I was like, I can't, I can't see it. Oh, and no. she's like, it's right here. I'm like, I can't see it. So she had to like hand it to me so I could see yeah. it. So I'll take a picture, but the top part is a little puffier, the bottom part, because it was two I'm instead of one pressed. but you can do anything since i switched to one i think i'm pretty much staying within the squares i think it's pretty accurate and i've counted a few times because you have to like count for a few things and so far every time it's lined up correctly so um i'm feeling pretty good unfortunately the first four days of the month were all the same color first three days i like it but yeah, but I wanted to, like, see what it was going to look like with all the variety. But can you imagine all of the months lined up? It's going to be so cute, and it's going to be in a little frame, and I can hang it on the wall. It's going to be all little. Because, like, if you're going to do a temperature thing every, thing every year, like, it can't be big like the temperature tree. I hope next year she names it temperature thingy. Temperature thingy? <laughs> that, yeah, which <laughs> Stitching Mommy yeah. does. Yeah, yeah instead of temperature tree, uh, temperature typography, it yeah. be temperature thingy. <laughs> that would be pretty cute. Yeah. Whatever she does next, I'll probably get and do it next year. And then everything's just going to, like, go around my temperature tree. I'm going to put the temperature tree on the wall, and then all the other years are going to go around it on little pieces of fabric. So get more pieces of fabric that are dark that, that you're not going to use. That came from 1884, and I don't know why she sent it to me because I didn't buy it. little 40-count dark pieces of fabric you're never going to use. Send them my way. I'll use them. Because so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. So, but let me try to I don't know her address, so picture. you'll have to... Comment and let me try to take a picture. Let's <laughs> I'll get have to give it to you because I don't. I know where you live, but I don't know your address. But that's not fine. I don't like. I don't know your address. You really don't know my address. Sometimes <laughs> depends on the day. 
Okay, so speaking of 1880 Felicity Tree. I'm gonna put this in the bag before I lose it. I bought this from her and it was already kitted up. It is Joyful Summer from Country Cottage Needleworks. This is my new start. No. What I didn't realize. Oh, where'd you, when did you get that? Back when that woman died and McKenna got all oh, her stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yep. What I didn't realize until I decided to start it, and actually I, I was in the process of trying to stitch it when I realized it, she kitted it up with similar colors, <laughs> not the called for ones. So these are not the called for except for one, and the DMC is, is the right one. But I still like it. I, I think, I, I don't know, maybe it would look better with the actual colors, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Just go with it. And the it's fabric unique. is not the called for. This is a 28 count raw natural cashew linen. It's bigger than I expected it to be too. <laughs> um, but I just like the way the colors looked. I realize this is like summery and happy and mine's more like boo. But I thought it looked good with the fabric. So I like, yeah. I'm looking on it's that. It's pretty bright. I like the leaf a lot. The only one that's the correct color is just pink. That's well, and, and anything DMC, which yeah. I think might be like the yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really notice. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd say, yeah, I agree to I mean, similar. See, it's similar, not same. Not quite the same. But it's still really pretty. Put them down, I'll take a picture. So, that, I worked on that, I think, two days. I'm gonna cover up your little pink one. Sorry, pink one, buddy. Two days. Two. Dos. Dos days. Doso. But it's nice having small stuff to work on. Yep. Every once in a while. I have small stuff. <laughs> and this is a big piece of fabric, so it fits in the Q-snap, even though I'm only using a little yeah. bit, you know. So I'll have more fabric later for something else. Yay! So that's it for whips. So let's take a break. Okay. Because I forgot my stuff. Let's start with haul, because my picture of this plus from June arrived. And one of the things I had bought, how this has dog food on it already, I don't know. <laughs> this was a shirt, I, because I bought it from Rogue Stitchery, mm -hmm. rather than Picture This Plus directly, because I think that's how you have to do it now. I don't think you can buy from Picture This Plus anymore. I think it, it, the selling thing to not businesses, I think it's Rogue Stitchery. But they have this shirt, and I just, I thought I needed that. Hold you, it down lower. You want to read it to people? I love cross-stitching, and maybe three people. I like that. That's true, because there's, there's three people in our family. Besides me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this wasn't haul, but since it's here, I did my 100th ride Peloton, so it's my Century shirt. No. They send that to you for free. So, Peloton! I, this I know, is not an ad. <laughs> I know that I have had my Peloton long enough that I should be on, like, my 600th ride, but let's, let's just pretend that it's still good. At least I did it. You this. got a package from James Charles. Yeah. yeah, it came. I can't show you that part, but no. <laughs> it said James Charles. And my son was like, what did you buy from James Charles? And my husband's like, why are you buying makeup? And I'm like, it's soft, and I didn't. And I don't know. Turned out to be the full set of CXC. I don't know why it came from James Charles. It was AliExpress. It came from, like, China. I, I don't know. Guys but I wanted Charles. another set of... of um, CXC. CXC. And this is... Two label. Two label this time. Two. I ordered two label last time and got one, but this is... This is two. So, obviously there's a lot more of it in here. But Woo. it's nice having those, because I really like them. And they're way cheaper. It's like $45 yeah. for a full set. 447 of them. So now I have to figure out how to put those away. Um, okay. The rest of my picture, this plus, that came with that shirt... Mm -hmm. This is Twilight, it's 32 count, Lugana. Pretty. Pretty. I don't think I need to open the whole thing, and I don't know how it's showing up on camera because we can't see. <laughs> right. We can't see what this we look like. This is blue. <laughs> yes, it's blue. Very pretty. This one I am so in love with, and I want to stitch using like white, like B5200 on this. I don't know what, but something. It's Chablis, it's 32 count, Lugana. Lugana. Those I bought thinking I was going to maybe do Pandemic on them, but that was back in June, and I've since started, and, you know. Yeah, but this too late. This is just so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So, Their so. Their modeling is really nice. So beautiful. I like it. It's very, so, let me take a picture of that one, because you can really see it in this I one. need to find 
something like geometric or whatever that I could stitch on white. Like I know yeah. Kim is doing that. Um, I think it's a modern folk embroidery, mm. the season one. That one would be beautiful. But I've seen several people stitch it, so I kind of want to do something different. Yep. But something like that would just be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I love that so much. Chablis. 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 Okay. Then I um, bought stuff more recently because Alyssa for Christmas gave me Taj Mahal from Chatelaine. She gave me the pattern. She was nice enough to tell me ahead of time that she did that. So I bought the kit. I'm waiting for it. I didn't tell you. It was just she obvious. Told me. She <laughs> told me. It was a good thing though. But I knew I wanted to do it on um, Deep Sea from the Craft Wing collection because I'd seen other people do it on that. And so that's what this is. So since I was ordering that from Rogue Stitchery, I think it was like a Black Friday sale or something, I was like, okay, well, shouldn't travel alone. So I got from Ship's Manor. Doesn't look the same as it did online, but it's still pretty. Through the window. And this is a cash cashel. It's very bright. It's very really bright. Um, I think it would be good with like a mermaid of some sort, although I don't have one, but... It's not as modeled as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Online, it looked like all these different colors. It looked a lot more like this online, but it it's not. But, I mean, it's still, it's still pretty, and I'll stitch something on it. It just wasn't quite as exciting as I hoped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, my sister gave me a Chalain. Egypt. Egypt garden. And you know what's even more amazing about this? Hmm. She also gave me a gift card for the European craft stitch so I could kit it up. Which I've not done yet, but I'm going to. I can't turn this around because the gift card number is yeah. on the back. <laughs> I know, I was looking at what she wrote back here. Yeah, the, Something about Wi-Fi, smiley faces, gift card numbers. Her husband changed the Wi-Fi password thingy, and so she couldn't print. Like, the, the printer wasn't, so she just wrote down the gift card thing. So that was incredibly sweet and generous and you know, you can't go wrong with a Chatelaine. No. Um, it was okay. exciting. So, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Kim Hollenbeck. She is Spartan Stitcher on Instagram, but well, her foster channel like is <laughs> Kim Hollenbeck. She, um, <laughs> she's so sweet. She sent me some postcards, which I really liked and apparently I dropped one. Well, there's three of them, but one of them is California. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, And then there's cool. yummy, delicious things. And then the one she gave me was Michigan, because um, the other one, because she's from she threw Michigan. It away. She's like, like, no, screw no, Michigan. So, okay, I have to admit, she sent this, right? And I was like, that's pretty. And I, I texted her, I'm like, thank you. I'm like, did you make that? And she's like, no, that's a bird toy. I know she wanted to say idiot in there, but I just thought she was crafty and made a wreath, and I'm thinking, well, I don't really know where I'm going to hang it, but I mean, I'll find the place. I was You're a too little, sweet. little relieved it was a bird toy. So we had a discussion the other night, because I thought Kona <laughs> would like so it the playful. most, but Kona has a lot of toys, and she's just not really a toy person, so I think we're going to try Tango. I showed it to all of them. We have four pairs. I showed it to all of them the other night, and they... All were scared of it except for Kevin. And he's a hyacinth and he's huge and he would kill this in an eighth of a second. Yeah, so it's no fun Kevin doesn't get this. <laughs> so we're going to try Tango. And if Tango doesn't want it, because sometimes he gets scared of toys, then we'll move it to Ami and Ami will for sure play with it. But if for some reason he doesn't, then it goes to Kona, who probably should have had it in the first place because <laughs> she really likes soft things. But thank you, Kim. But here's what I fell in love with. I told you we have four pillars. <laughs> if you want to see more of these, watch her last episode because she shows the ones that she bought. She bought these pins that I'm going to change to needle miners yeah. that I love so much. So much. This one is Kona because Kona is a Solomon Island Eclectus. So that is what Kona looks like. So cute. It's so hard to find Eclectus stuff. And the, with Eclectuses, I always want to call them Eclecti. Me too. The female looks like this, and the male is green. It's unusual in the pilot world for you to be able to tell the sex of a pilot based on how they look. Yeah. So even when you do find the collective stuff, a lot of times it's the male one. 
And then um, we have Ami. Ami is mine, but he is an African Grey. That's what he looks like. And she said they have tangos, the cockatoo, but it's two cockatoos drinking like tea. And I did go and look, and, and it is, and it's cute. But they didn't have any momos, any Kevins, any hyacinths, but she thinks they're going to get them. So when they get those in, I'll get the tango one at the same time. Then I'll have all of them. Did you read the back? No, I don't think so. That's interesting. They 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 um, help birds in need oh, and educate I did. people mission and stuff. I did read that. It's pretty cool. So thank you, Kim. I love 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 love. And I've already asked my husband about making them into needle miners. So you know, this one is going to be perfect when I do that Ami pattern. The one where he looks like like the Einstein thing. And then oh about being like yeah. A rocket scientist. This will be yeah. kind of that. Also, when I finally get around to doing the checkerboards, yeah, because I did Kona and I did. Um, Kevin. Ke Kevin. Conan yeah. Kevin. I still need to do Tango and Ami, so that'll be perfect for that, too. Unfortunately, nice. I already did Kona, so I don't know what I'm going to stick Kona on, but... Nothing. Kona's banished. I will find something for Kona. That was really sweet. Totally sweet. Completely unnecessary, but I love, 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 I think that might be it for... Uh, oh, my mom gave me a beaded kit, a fuchsia mm. bead kit thing which I'm excited about mm -hmm. but it's from my bobbin and it's not here but she told me mm, she did I'm so like, I thank didn't you. see this thank you granny I'm excited about that <laughs> I didn't see despite this. the fact that I had to look at my list it was just because it wasn't sitting here but I swear I'm excited she spoiled me yeah you should see my amethyst she gave me an amethyst crystal thingy I love amethyst that's my birthstone and I have wanted one for a long time I don't know how she knew that I told dad I was shit you <coughs> so I'm glad he did it <coughs> I'm joking I joke on my spit at least once every day. It's like, Ugh. She's a mess. Wow. It's She's going to get a shoulder x-ray tomorrow. So. I am. Well, no, I'm not. I told her tomorrow. You're going to come to work early, then on your lunch break, you're going to go. Tell her she has to go. The problem with Kaiser, which is our health care, is that they do everything all in one building. And so, in a lot of things, you don't need an appointment for, which sounds awesome, because walk in and it's pretty quick, and that is nice. The problem is that when you are given, when you have to call and wait on hold, and then they tell you, in three weeks there's an appointment, show up at this time, you're like, I'm going to show up at that appointment, like I have to. When they give you the option to just like, okay, yeah, just walk in whenever, it's like, do I wake up early today and go before work? Meh, I can do it tomorrow. Should I do it, you know, leave early from work and go, meh, I can do it tomorrow. And then it just gets pushed off. This is why I told her she has to come to work early tomorrow. And then yeah. for her lunch I really want to get my, my shoulder x-ray because I'm excited to see if they can see anything. But I got to go. And she can pick up pain meds yeah. at the same time. You should yeah. do that. I know. I can just get everything done all at once. We need to spin. Yeah, we do. Let's spin. Let's spin. Spin the wheels of wheelingness. That's the view of which that that's not the wheel to spin. <laughs> I'm gonna do my first century. That struggling. one blacks out, so I have to be super careful not to reset Boop. it or spin it when I don't mean it. Okay, I'm gonna spin. Although I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll work on whatever. She says. I really want to work on universe. Too bad, because I want you to work on moose. If I can find moose, <laughs> I will do the moose. Boop pa. I forgot to boop when I hit the button, but that's boop. fine. Pa. Boop -pa. She has to do that to line it up. Boop -a -da pa. Yeah, everyone's pandemic. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Not super excited about that, but that means you'll get to have a better idea of if you like it. Exactly. I'm not upset about it. It's just secretly i was kind of hoping for the mirabilia so i could finish it because that's exciting yeah but i've been working on it so much i probably shouldn't i feel like i need more starts so i have more of a variety yeah but that's so really probably a bad idea because then you know i work on it. oh shallow spots y'all want to see the shallow spots of course they do okay that's the that's where they stay that's the only reason they that's want the only reason you're oh i didn't uh, send that to you no. I'll send you that, too. You should. I only okay. see one thing. I I wanted to pick one where I could see several things, but the lighting wasn't so great today. I should really do it earlier when it's not dark out. And, and... 
So this is how it went. So Okay. And what is it? And this is one that's not a white splotch. I told you there's some that uh, no, white. No, yeah, I was expecting white, and this is rocky. What do you see? Nothing. I hate it when that happens. So you know how many splotches I don't take a picture of because I don't see something? Okay, I know exactly what it is now. Okay. It just clicked. What is it? Give people your opinions. Okay. Pause it if you don't want to know. Okay. <clears throat> Are you sending the thing to me? I'm sending that. Yes. Oh, I probably should have sent that at the same oh time. Is it too late? Yes. <laughs> did, did you get both of them or just the one? I got one. And you do that, and then I'll send that. Sorry, people. <laughs> now you get extra time. Okay. What I see... Pull up that picture, though. That picture, though. That picture, though. What I see is... <laughs> so, <laughs> is on. some dude from the 70s roller skates those bell bottom jeans and he's doing like a little dance while skating and this is his butt and these are his legs a little it's darker because he's wearing skates he's just like doing like a dance like a woo but on skates bell bottom oh jeans, so pants. like that's a leg and that's yep. a leg bell okay. bottom jeans but okay. doing a little dance but he's on skates because it's the 70s okay. well we absolutely don't see the same same thing no not at all no no what'd you see it's a pig there is no way that that is a pig. It's a pig head. Why would you think everyone would see a pig That's head? That's like an eel and eel and the snout. Just kind of ignore the middle. Okay. That's just a pig. It could also be a cow or... I mean, that the inside part kind of yeah. looks like a dolphin. Like... <laughs> Ikea! Yeah. Or like a penguin. But if you ignore the inside part, the outside, it's a pig. It could be a hippo. It's a pig. How anyone could see anything other than a pig, I, I don't know. But I, I totally I see the see dancing, it. skating butt thing. Yeah. Totally. That's super creative. And now every time I go in there, I'm going to see that. Should have mentioned before, while we were giving you all that time to think, you should have written it down in the comments. Because, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah, Too late right now. I really should comment. Although Too I realize late. if you're like on certain devices, it's hard it to comment. It is but, harder, especially but on But we mobile. do like the comments. And I'm going to keep doing the splotch until you stop commenting and then no more And splotch. everyone always comments on the splotch, so... <laughs> And I may not always respond in a way where you think I cared, but believe me, I spend a lot of time looking at the picture and trying to see if I see what you see. Pulls up the picture. So, okay, look at the comments. Like, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. And she can vouch for that because if she takes the picture, yeah. then I have to ask her for it because I get frustrated can that I can't picture, see please? it. I need to see it because I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Because I don't have right. other... Cause Get snowed at the cabin. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of holiday stuff. I mean, yeah. we just did we just did the things. So normally we'd have stories for you, but I don't have any stories. I mean, I guess on New Year's they they um one of our neighbors decided to launch a bunch of fireworks that are not legal. <laughs> we had that too. We didn't they, do it, but they launched it in such a spot that we were laying on the sofa and we could look through the window and see them right right there. So I'll put that little video clip in here. <laughs> I should check my pictures and just make sure I didn't take a picture of anything that is no. Why well, snow pictures? I can show you the snow. Yeah, show snow up at the cabin. Look, uh, this is snow at the cabin. Hey, there's my amethyst. Yeah, I'll send you that. Okay, great. Hang on, I'm not ready. I'm and not I'll ready. send you snow pictures. Uh, snow. There's snow. Oh, I do have a story. Yeah, you do. I have a story. Okay, let's just. Oh, wait. Where did you go? <laughs> I'll just give you some of those. Um, so dangerous with your <laughs> I know. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> okay. I have a story. Okay, you have six minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send you that too because I didn't send that to you. But oh no, you already have it. I can send it again, but you already have it because okay. Dad sent. Yeah, those are probably. the better pictures. Probably. So I'm sitting in the cabin. I was working on a project. I don't know what it was, but I was sitting there stitching it, and it's snowing outside, mm -hmm. and. All of a sudden, I hear thud, and I whip around. I look out the window that's right behind me, and there is like whiteness. It's like foggy snow. And my husband jumps up and he's looking out the window and he's like, and because I kind of shriek and he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> I'm like something happened, but there's I didn't a loud know sound. What it was. Now there's weird snow. Yeah, my first thought was. 
there was a color accident, but then why don't I see a color and there's just white stuff? So then I was like, well, I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe a chunk of snow fell and like maybe it hit the truck. And then I was like, but the truck looks fine. And uh, I don't know. So I didn't know when that foggy snow cleared, it was a color accident. A Jeep had done something. They did something. They did something not right. <laughs> and they ended up plowing into the tree. So they're aiming at me. So had the tree not been there, they would have gone down the incline and they would have hit the truck. Had the truck not been there, they would have continued down and hit me inside well, the cabin. The cabin. Yeah, but that's not a thick wall. They would have hit me. So we didn't go out there because this is terrible, but the policy with snow is that we don't help people unless we know them because there are so many mean, awful, entitled people. And if we tried to help, we would be out there all the time helping people. And that's not how we want to spend our weekends. Judge me all you want, but this is years <laughs> of dealing with this stuff. Yeah. So they managed to get unstuck after a lot of terrifying minutes and a lot of spinning of wheels and the thing moving. And I'm thinking they're going to just plow right down the hill. They get it unstuck. And believe me, I felt terrible for them because nobody wants to get in an accident. I don't want anyone to have any kind of damage or fear or anything. But everybody had gotten out immediately, so you could tell they were okay. It was just how are they going to get it unstuck and I don't want to help them. You hit my tree and you could have hit my truck and me, I'm not helping you. So they did manage to get it out and they had a lot of front end damage. In fact, they had to pry like the wheel well, the fender out so that they could drive. But then they threw their clothes perch on the ground and they drove off. I was like, at least this take the clothes with you. This is why you don't help people. Yeah. So during the course of the day, there were three accidents on the road. Um, we only saw that one, but I listened to a, a scanner thing and also there's other online sources so you can see what's going on, like Pulse Point and, and Caltrans quick maps and things. But mm -hmm. a car turned over below. There was some sort of accident above. I saw the fire engine and the CHP and the ambulance go up there. The ambulance was coming down and they started spinning. That didn't go well, but they got down. The, the thing was, normally in the winter, they're really good about the chains. They have chain checkpoints, so they make people put chains on. This is going to sound crazy to you people in snowy states. In Southern California, mm -hmm. it snows in the mountains, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. And so all the people that don't know how to drive in the snow go to the mountains, but they don't know how to drive in the snow. They don't have the equipment to drive in the snow. They don't have four-wheel drive. They don't even have all-wheel drive. They have two-wheel drive, no chains, and they think that they can go up steep I see stuff. So we have chain checkpoints where they stop you before you get too far to go back and yes. they tell you you need chains and or four wheel drive or snow you need to know you need to look whatever. like you know what you're doing kind of essentially is the rule. And they won't let you pass that checkpoint. Like you literally have to put your chains on right there. Back when I was a kid, they mm -hmm. used to have people that you could hire to put chains on for you. I don't know that they still do, but it used to be you could pay people at the checkpoint to put your, ti put your tires on, <laughs> put your chains on for you. Yeah. No, <laughs> you have a story because of the reverse chain issue. Yeah. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> the problem is these chain checkpoints scare people into thinking that they need chains if there's any snow on the ground anywhere. So my sister-in-law was coming down from the mountain one day and there was horrible traffic and they eventually figured out it's because people stopped on the middle of the road because there was a small ice patch with a little bit of snow on the sides and they're like, we must put on chains even though they were coming down the mountain. There was no snow anywhere else. It was just a small patch of ice that was slippery, but you just... You know, get through it and then get down the hill, and so they're causing this big pack up because they're putting on their chains to in drive the middle of the road, drive a few feet, and then take them off. So we have all so, kinds of chain problems. So what what had happened was that even though we knew the storm was coming, for some reason they didn't get people out for the chain checkups <laughs> when they should have. Mm -hmm. So the bulk of the day had passed, and then it was getting colder, and so things were icing up. And so all of the people that were not supposed to be driving because they don't know what they're doing were already on the mountain somewhere. And so they were having so many accidents. What normally would have taken about 20 minutes was taking five hours to drive through. Mm -hmm. Five hours. Mm -hmm. So there were a lot of people on the mountain that were stuck, flipped over, spun in ditches. Uh, even, I mean, I was listening to the ski resort and they had gotten to the point where the tow companies wouldn't even take the calls. It was just like, there's too many, we're not, we can't help you. And the, because of you know, liability reasons, the skiwis won't help you. They won't pull you out and stuff. 
Um, we did help people get unstuck throughout the weekend, but people we knew. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't let anyone die. We wouldn't let people, you know, stay overnight yeah. freezing to death or whatever. But the bulk of the people did not get stuck where we were, but some people did, and we did help them. But, you know, it's dangerous to help people, especially mm-hmm. if you don't know how well they drive. And the fact that they're on a hill stuck kind of gives you a clue that they maybe they're the best at driving. Mm-hmm. But anyway, mm-hmm. so we stayed up the well past when when there was a ton of traffic so that we didn't get stuck in all that but mm-hmm. but yeah so that was fun like i said the people were okay so yeah we're not as mean as we sound i promise but we have snow in the mountains so if you're ever on my street Ooh. and you get stuck and we don't come out to help you tell me hey i'm a stitchy person yeah. i will come out and help you i will personally did you get the you cabin <laughs> is that the cabin <laughs> there you go <laughs> Just if you get stuck by cabin. Stitching at the cabin! <laughs> if it's a weekend, they're probably there. So, you know, you might not be in the right spot, but if you are, she'll hear it. I will help you. I will help my peeps. That's it, my friends. That's it. Thank you for coming back, and thank you for being new. Whichever applies to you. Stitching at the cabin at gmail.com. Also on Instagram. Send us your, your whips. Send us your own splotches. I'll include someone else's splotch. Heck yeah! That would be super Splot exciting. Splot share! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wrong. Okay, goodbye Bye. guys! Toodaloos!